Hey everybody, this is uh, Mark with PRGI. Now just to give you a visual, we've got command set up outside. A um, little bit noisy out here with the cars going. We're starting just a couple of minutes early. Um, but we've already had some interesting things going on in our pre-live investigation. But right now, I would like to introduce you to a couple of the workers here. And uh, if it's okay with you guys, if you don't mind sharing a couple of your experiences that you've had here at the Lotes uh, house. And again, we're at the Lotes house, Franklin, Tennessee, uh, the Battle of Franklin, just read all about it. Lots of history here. And so if you guys will just say your name. I'm Kelly, I'm Nikki. And Kelly and Nikki, if you don't mind just sharing with them um, some of your personal experiences that you've experienced working here at the Lotes house. I've heard footsteps, voices, we've heard drumming, we've gotten, I've gotten touched numerous times by some of the various spirits in the house. I've had my name called, cold uh, a lot of cold spots, in fact, we, I just got one not too long ago, which is pretty wild, and it's almost, they're very protective here, and I've never once very been scared, so. and no. I feel super comfortable here in the house, and yeah. It's always an exciting time, and it happens when we're here, when we're not here. Daytime or nighttime? Daytime, nighttime, doesn't matter. They, like, interact, just letting us know that they're still here. So that's something pretty cool. Uh, Nikki, do you mind sharing some, some of your experiences? Uh, I've heard voices here, uh, just plain as day, like I would hear just talking to a friend. Um, I've had, I've been touched a few times. Uh, they like to play with my hair, because it's really, really long, I guess. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I hear like I used to drum so I've heard drums a lot here uh, battle pertaining to that I'm sure um, gosh what, ugh, there's been so many <laughs> dousing rods get great activity here we've had oh, yeah. she and I uh, had really good luck with those when yeah. we team up and do them together so yeah. lots of activity with that really good pictures too yeah really really good pictures. really good we pictures here. so what whether you're you know into the paranormal into the history I'm going to flip you around just so you can get an outside view of this look. A beautiful, beautiful place. Definitely come. Um, hello to everyone uh, that's signing on. Uh, thank you for checking us out from California and all places in between. Uh, so what we're going to do is I'm going to take you in for a, for a quick tour just for you. And then a couple of the investigators. Hey, Kyra, good to have you. David, how's it going, our friend? Um, I'll give you a quick tour inside and then a couple of the investigators are going to come in and uh, we'll, we'll start, uh, I'm going to stand in the background and just video and answer your questions and we'll observe them uh, doing the investigation. So let's go take a walk. As we enter downstairs. Oh, oh no, we don't need to read it. Okay. Downstairs, well, we have the parlor room. I'm trying to grab my other flashlight that I had, but I must have set it down outside. I don't know if that does anything oh here we go just to give you guys a visual oh that's better <laughs> your flashlight's better <laughs> then we have the dining room dining hall in here a lot of the museum stuff is down here so we're going to take a uh, quick walk upstairs go ahead ladies jason's going to bring up the rear i'm going to go ahead and get meter going. And again, just to give y'all a quick. Really good connections. So here is the master bedroom. Once we have the EDI meter going in there. Yeah, David, last at the last time, especially last time here, was off the chain. Here is what is referred to as the red room. 
And for those of you who are newer, oh, we just. It's the, uh, plasma, plasma ball. ball. Yeah. I mean. Okay, that's not the plasma ball. Mm -mm. No, it stopped as soon as I got out of the door. Look at this, Jace. Yep. Nothing. And so it begins. Yeah. <laughs> so let me, let's just test again. Okay, so we're getting readings off the plasma ball. Well, now we're not getting anything. Hang on. Hang on tight. I don't know if it was the ball. I don't know if it was either. It should be constant. Yeah, if, if it was the plasma ball, it should be constant, especially with me pointing at it now. Um, show you. Watch. So Jason's going to show you on the mail meter. Anytime he goes in the room with the mail meter, the plasma ball. So now we're going to test. Nothing. See? I got nothing right here, right where you are. Put it up back over there. Okay, this is already doesn't make any sense but as I was saying the plasma ball gives off a stasis electromagnetic field for the energies that reside here to manifest and communicate down this way just on the other side of the master is the children's room and again I'll, uh, I'll show you just with a quick flashlight tour and then here in the master so I think as I turn this off I think we'll uh we'll start here in the master and then move in to the kids room and again the, the way that tonight's investigation is going to, going to work I know usually I kind of lead it but I'm just going to stay in the background and let the ladies who work here and Jason, who's got the SLS going, if he catches the figure, we'll run over there. Um, let them ask the questions. They're here every day. The spirits, the energies, entities, however you want to label them, are very familiar with them. And uh, let's just see what happens. So, uh, ladies, Jason, I turn it over to you. No, no, you don't no, get ask questions at any time. Miss Eula, Willard, you remember us, right? We brought some friends to see you. It's okay to talk to them, they've been here before. They respect you and your time and your space. We just want to know more about who you are, about your life. If there's anything you want them to know, feel free to say it. Miss Eula, we showed them your picture where you were laying on the bed. I apologize if we woke you up that night. We didn't mean to. Yes, 
they <laughs> just drop they're something. They're asleep. They're not now. They're awake now. <laughs> Whoa. I had a quick figure close to the bed. Oh, over here? Yeah. Willard? Um, or was it on this side? It was on the side that y'all are, right, for, right around where that post is. It's right in front of that post. This one? Or this one? The one that's uh, that y'all used to block off. This one here? Yeah, that white one right there. This one. Okay. Yeah. okay. It was right in front of it just for like a second. Okay. Was it our height? Short? It was about the same height as the post. Mm -hmm. So it's one of the kids probably. Yeah. Okay. That's all right. If you guys want to come in here, that's fine. You can, if you want to, you can hold our hand. If that makes you feel better. You've done it before. We're okay with it. Yes, Cassandra, please. Can you tell me who the figure is we've caught standing by the window before? Miss Yella, was it you that helped me with that sinus infection last year? Seen that light again. Hmm. Over here? On the bed. Interesting. Hey, Michelle. This is what, the third time you've seen it? Yep. This time it was in a different spot. This time it was right here. On the other side of the pillow. The other two times it was right here. Huh. But it's like, somebody it's clicks on a flashlight, turns it right off. Toy. See the Thank cat you. toy going off. First, first time tonight. First time tonight. Thank you so much. Sounds like the kids may want to play. That new toy there that we brought. Oh, there you go. Thank you. Of course, I said I wasn't going to get involved, and here I am getting involved <laughs> in the questions. I can't help it. Make sure it wasn't anybody walking around. I'm gonna tip those off. Okay, so you have to stomp. Yeah, stomp pretty good. Get real close to it. So that just walking. Walk. Okay, let let it go off again, and I'm gonna walk back that way like and I did. I can walk over because I'm a little bit lighter step. I got nothing now. Hey Vicky, we are at the Lotes house in Franklin, Tennessee. Yeah, I'm. So you got to stomp pretty good. Yeah, because she. I hit it that yeah. Time. yeah, she bumped into it. So. But you got to stomp pretty good for it. Yeah, out. and I just tested walking over here again. At nothing. So we're but, gonna call that. You know what? It should have already went off. Yeah. So are you liking that toy? Sorry guys, I said I was gonna keep my mouth shut, and I can't keep my mouth shut. <laughs> Especially when it comes to kids. I just love kids so much. That was my phone. Okay, go ahead, you guys. I'm going to sit down and shut up. Jules and Julius, we'd love for you to come out and play with us tonight.
There's your ball to play with. The big one. I tell you what, if you pick that thing up and throw it, you can have it. Julia, Julius, if you're here, come. You're more than welcome to come sit with me. Do you remember when we made shapes with the bullets from downstairs? Sat on the floor and we played a game of what shape is this? It's like a guessing game. Quick figure. Trying to figure out where. Another SLS figure. Right in this mirror. I don't know if it was uh, anyone in here. Is it could have been, but it ain't picking it up now. Well, it shouldn't be me because I'm seated. You're the only one standing. It's not picking it up now, so. Got to ask this, uh, a question. We have people who are joining us and watching you. And so when you hear me ask questions, I'm asking questions for them because they want to get to know who you are. Uh, do you have any friends here? Maybe someone named Maddie? had another figure that was right above the couch. It was there for like two or three seconds and went away. The little one? No, it was like on the wall. Tell me, was it like a little person size, a kid size? Couldn't tell. Oh, okay. It wasn't on the ground. Okay. I, I can map you right now mm -hmm. and could have been standing on the couch, but y'all look about the same size. <laughs> so kid size, I guess. Oh, I'm feeling the love, man. <laughs> I mean, we're both about the same height, so. Do we have a? We are really close. Do we have a young girl here by the name of Matilda? Maybe. Okay, I've got to ask this, just because every movie I've ever seen, can you move one of those dolls? <laughs> yeah, freak us out, because I hate dolls. <laughs> dolls and mannequins. Freak me out, please. I promise. I'm, I'm showing off your dolls to, uh, to everyone. I think they're beautiful. Someone wants to know, do you like uh, kitty cats? If you like kitty cats, can you can you do something for us? Was that a voice? That was me. Okay. Let's play a game, okay? We're going to talk about animals and the sounds they make, okay? My friend Kelly, we're going to play the game 
and then we'll show you how it's done and you can try, okay? Hey Kelly, yeah. What sound does a dog make? Woof. Awesome. Okay. What sound does a cow make? No. Another good one. All right, my favorite. What sound does a kitty cat make? Not the tough one. Do you know? Meow. So, now you see how the game works. So, we're going to ask you, okay? Can you tell me what sound a dog makes? Do you know what sound a chicken makes? There used to be a cow on property. What sound does the cow make? Try another room. Pushing you in or pushing you out? Pushing you this way. It works the room. Hey, Amanda, Tiffany, wish you were here. Okay, we're going to leave this uh, toy in here. We're going to go somewhere else. You guys are, we're on the second floor, David. Um, can you grab that cat toy for me, please? Yeah. Right beside the toy. Um, leave the toy? Yeah, we'll leave the toy. You guys feel free to play with that toy. You know what? Maybe we should leave this in here because I've got another one. And if it goes off, we'll be able to see it. So he's setting the cat toy by the uh, little toy we brought. Look, I do want to show you this. This toy can make a noise. Does make. See, it's got a clown on it. If you do it hard fast. Yeah. Did you get that chair? No. Because the cat toy just went off. Let me see. No, I'm... When he was playing with that toy, the cat, the cat toy went off. Did it? Yeah. And now this. Make this noise at any time you want to, okay? All right. Well, we'll leave you to play with your toys. We'll come back and see you in a minute. Don't have too much fun without us because I love to play games. Uh, just as a history lesson, um, the Lokes house was hit with a cannonball uh, downstairs. Um, there was, of course, a small fire, um, and actually there are... The cannonball came through. Right came through the roof, hit that, and then went down. just started up. Just now. It hasn't done anything. I've been watching it until then. And if it was the phone, it would keep going on. Yeah. So talk about the cannonball. Okay, so the cannonball... It's going off with the cannonball. Back up just a little bit more. The cannonball... That, could y'all talk about the cannonball again, please? A uh, six-pound cannonball came through the roof, came through straight down, and went to the first floor. So I'm pretty much standing right where that cannonball came through. Mr. Lowe's, during the rebuild, had to patch this up. And if you look close enough, you can see where the Mr. Lowe's hammered into the... You can see a hammer into right here. And on that corner, you can see where he cut way too far over. And around those edges, you'll see gap marks. 
He was pretty upset his home was destroyed during the battle. And you can stick your finger in there versus... Yeah. And just to let you guys know, Mr. Lotes, according to historical records, was kind of a perfectionist when it came to building things. And so, hence his frustration uh, when the cannonball. Absolutely. And it's interesting... We haven't had any activity on the EDI meter until the lady until the ladies were bringing up and talking about the cannonball. Now, if it was your phone, yeah, well, if it's the phone, it'd be going off right now. And it is okay, but I'm more than three feet away, so oh, Kyra, this place is beautiful. See now, it's not though. Yeah, it's not. It's not going off now. Hmm. Here is the picture of the soldier I was telling you about, Henry Cowman. That we were talking about earlier. He is one that has been seen here. Henry, are you here with us? I just can't keep my mouth shut, can I? <laughs> Yeah, Kyra, I highly recommend you visit this place, not only for the paranormal, but the history here is just amazing. I will tell you just to share a little bit about the history as we're changing spots, headed over to what is referred to as the Red Room. Um, Lope's family literally looked out their window and saw the thousands of Union soldiers coming from the direction I'm facing now were thousands of Confederate soldiers and when they saw that they ran across the way and hid in the basement of a, of a friend's house and when they came out five six maybe seven hours later there were just dead bodies everywhere if I remember correctly, uh, you guys correct me if I'm wrong, I think there were 12 dead horses. Well, uh, um, somewhere between 17, I'll say between 12 and 17 yeah. dead horses here. That's the morning after the battle, soldiers were seeing the like scarecrows afterwards. Your feet never touched the ground, man. Mm -hmm. Never. Just you were stepping on bodies everywhere. everywhere. So they couldn't even get back to their house without mm -hmm. stepping over. And now you got to remember, guys, they had kids, and their kids are seeing this. And those kids are seventeen, nine, six, and three. Seventeen, nine, six, and three—the age of the kids that witnessed this. You know what I think we need to do, Jason? Sorry. Kind of mimic what we did last time. Go ahead and bring the others in and get them in each room. Um, take turns asking questions. Because remember, that's when things went crazy. All right. You want me radio? Yeah. Uh, Mark for Marty, Amanda, and AJ. Thank you, Jesse. Shut up. Boyfriend touching your butt again? Not to fight, but... Go for everybody. You guys come on in and yes. come upstairs and split up and go to the master bedroom and the child's room, if you don't mind, please. We're already in. We've been downstairs. Copy that. We'll be down there in just a minute. Come up there. Copy. Kids, do y'all remember coming out of your neighbor's house? Seeing all those dead bodies? Sorry you had to experience that. Yeah, cat, definitely. Either one of the two or a combination of both. Do you want to try to get hold of Calvin who used to live in here? And this was his playroom. Yeah, yeah definitely. He's got about 30 minutes before he goes to bed. So that's Do what it. I'm asking. Do it. All right. Yeah. Let, me, let me step out and I'll see if I can Nikki. Is going to, there's a man named Calvin who used to live here. 
and the room that we're in was actually his playroom. And so we're going to see if we can't get him on the phone to uh, ask some questions, maybe share some of his experience as a former resident here. That would be cool. Still not working. Still not working. What quit working? The IR? Yeah. Still not working at all. And kept dying when we were in the parents' room. We just had the IR cam die? No, it's been dead. When we come in here before the live, uh -huh. we were investigating, and it, died? and it would just keep dying. Yeah, like the battery that is inside the camera is fully charged, and you can turn it on, and while it's on, it'll show you that it's fully charged. But then I have another set of batteries here, uh -huh. and you can see the light on them right here. Two power this, and two keep the camera charged. <laughs> These are completely full, as you can see, so it should power the camera, but it's not. And I can't, I can't record on it. It's just completely worthless now. That is strange. I don't understand. Okay, well, while you guys are up here, I am going to run downstairs. Here they are. Hey. Well, here we go. Y'all, uh, y'all like, does Calvin want to ask any questions or anything? You want to ask any questions in the red room? We are, we are live. Ask if they remember me, maybe? Yeah, ask, well, let me ask, do they remember me? This is Calvin. I lived there as a, as a small child. And I remember playing in the red room with you. Do you remember me? I was the one who used to be in the floor with the marbles and the, the little small race cars. Figure on the SOS. We got a figure on SOS. It's laying on the table. <laughs> See? It's did laying you, on it. Did you like it when I came to visit? Calvin, now we have keep talking. Keep talking, Calvin. We have two figures on the SLS camera now, please. Can I get your names of who you are? I told you the last time I was there, I would come back and visit again, and I will very soon. Looks like it's playing with my recorder. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I remember sliding down the banister as a kid. Do you remember <laughs> doing that also? I'm jealous, Calvin. Really jealous. <laughs> That's one of my favorite stories. Who hit me in the back of the head when I slid down the banister when my mother told me not to? <laughs> <laughs> That's what I want to know. My mother said it's because she don't like you sliding down the banister. She was afraid I was going to get hurt. So I'm wondering if there is a female presence there who was looking out for me.
Are the figures still on there? Uh, the one on the table is. The one in the chair is not. You like listening to Calvin, don't you? It was laying down. Now it's kind of like setting up. Yeah. Oh, now the chair's back. Thank you. So we've got one in the chair, Calvin, and one on the table. Do you even remember what the name of the parrot was that was there when I lived there? There was a lady who had a bird that lived in the upstairs before I moved my bedroom upstairs. If you want Calvin to come back and play marbles with you, When you were saying that, Calvin, the smaller figure that was in the chair disappeared. We still have the one on the table. Oh, chair's back. Yep, now the chair. Uh, here, you, would you like to, look, I'm going to show you. I don't, hopefully they don't disappear. I'm going to put my phone down right in front of you, and, and you can hold it and touch it while you talk to Calvin, okay? All right. Still there. Hey, it's me. If you would like to... To talk to me, feel free. I'm here. I'm, I'm watching you on one phone and talking to you on another. So I can see what you're doing. Can you give me some kind of some kind of signal or, or something to let me know that you're listening? A knock or make one of the, the lights light up? Can you do that? Here, can you set that on the... Yep. We've got this. All right, so it's right where my phone's at. Or just wherever. <clears throat> all right, excuse me, all right? I'm going to put that right where you are. Can you make that light up? Okay. The figure that was on... Well, for a second, the figure that was in the t uh, on the chair moved to the mirror, and then it came back to the chair. Is the mirror a way for you to travel? Is it a portal? Is that the reason you're going towards the mirror? That's the mirror he's referring to. Can you make the light light back up? I think it's the one that's right here because this is reverse. Okay. And then the other one that it went to it's is still where there. the book cabinet uh -huh. is. Because I know there's a chair over there by the right. chimney, and I've got my recorder over there. This is getting heavy. You know, this is a. Uh... This is really cool that Calvin is willing to come back and talk with you, share some fond memories that he had when he was here. 
do you have anything to say to him now that he can he can hear you right now? Do you remember where my bedroom was? It's on the other side of the red room, which is an office now. And I know that you used to visit me in there, Sean. I can see you. Is there any way that you can give me any kind of sign? or a knock or like I said light up the light just to let me see that you're there you can raise your hand above your head and there it, it did, went. it did oh you good see, job it did, did thank you did you see that Calvin? it did it for just a split second thank you I've got chills right now thank you so much so, Calvin, that was a direct response to that question. They do acknowledge that they understand that you're that you're talking with them. I got like goosebumps. Every that was cool. Day too. That was awesome. You know, every time I come back there, I feel like I'm at home. That's the reason why I love coming back there so much. Because I feel like you are a part of my family. That was a very happy time for me. I never felt threatened or scared. And I want to thank you. Could you wave to Calvin? He can see you right now. Wave to him. Let him know. Yeah, look. We have K2 meter going off now. I'll turn this off just so you can see it. Oh man, my heart's racing. That uh, that could be that plasma ball. Yeah. It could be. Could be. Does it make you happy? I do remember you saying that. That right. Calvin is visiting with you. Huh? If it does, can you give us a sign? Can you respond to this? Look, got a second figure, Calvin. It's down in the chair. It's in, I guess it's what, right here? Right underneath the mirror? Did you come to see Calvin? Where'd you at? I asked the rods. I said, point to Nikki. Oh, I didn't hear you say that. Yeah. Have no point of Nikki. It's still fair to say in this chair. I know. Okay. Uh, I do want you to get in the wedding chair. All right. Okay. All right. Can you point? Can you point these at Kelly? Show me where Kelly is. I just said the floor. It's fine. No, I said the floor. Stay up here. Yeah, stay up here. Whoa. One's pointing at Nikki, one's pointing at Kelly. Can you point? Well, right I love y'all too. At Kelly? <laughs> Show me where Kelly is with both of them. Come on. This is odd. Look here at this. Look at I'm, under, I'm putting this thing underneath the table and it's picked something up. Underneath Are you the laying table? on the floor playing? Is it? <laughs> Yep. Well, Calvin was talking about laying on the floor playing and stuff. 
So we got one on the floor, Kevin. I know y'all are watching. Yes. Yeah, we're watching. Yeah, that was one of the favorite things that we enjoyed was Let's go. playing in the floor. Like I said, it was marbles, race cars, amazing time. Does it make you happy this being your home? That when Calvin was here, he felt it was his home as well. Are you going? Okay, now you're back on. Okay. That, That's oh, weird. Okay. That was weird, guys. <laughs> we're getting, uh, we've already had the uh, IR yeah, camera drain. Now we've got a figure going. Yeah, oh. I went the wrong way. Um, it was right in front. I don't think that's a coincidence. Um, I asked for a response, and there uh, it goes again. No, and there it goes. There it goes again. Do you yeah. Think, yeah, hey, yeah do you it think could be the plasma ball. Could be. Let me get close to it and see. Look, I'm pointing right at it, Jason. Nothing. I don't know, man. I'm like less than two feet from it. It's not doing anything. No idea. It did that twice when I was uh, referring to Calvin visiting with him. We'll keep going with it. See if it does again. So, with Calvin being on the phone and he can see you, is this you? Responding that it you're very happy that he's visiting with you again. Here, let me ask you this: Are you going to bring the marbles, or do you want Calvin to bring the marbles? Just to show you now we don't have anything on the SLS. Mm -hmm. Did they leave? They're not even sitting at the table no more? Mm -mm. Uh, well, I'm at a different angle, but I'm pointing it at the table and we'll see if it comes back. I think that's Mac and Marty. And... Yeah, it's got them too. Uh, that's not them. No, though. that's not them. That's somebody sitting on the floor. Marty, don't move. It's right in front of you, Marty. Somebody sitting on the floor in front of where Marty's standing. When I say somebody, the figure that's in yeah, it's the... gone. And now it's now it's Matt and Marty. My right knee just got really cold. Yeah. And there now it's back. Right it's right there. Right when you said that, it, the it's figure like appeared. jumping up and down or something. It's... <laughs> and now it's gone. It's jumping up and down. <laughs> I think it's safe to say they, they like you, Calvin. Definitely. Yes. I like them, too. I'm, uh, actually, like I said, I'm sitting here looking at it, and it's just bringing a very big smile to my face, you know. Oh, Calvin, <laughs> you're so glad. <laughs> Calvin, thank you for taking the time thank out so to, much, to join us, sir. Much respect. And yes, it's sir. not very often, especially during a live investigation that you can get a chance to talk with someone who actually lived here had the experiences and, and you know played here and and just thank you so much uh, we're honored that you were willing to join us for a few minutes and, and ask your questions and we greatly appreciate it sir okay i thank you all so much for allowing us to be part of it thank yes you. sir in any time thank you so much all right thank you Hey, we love you guys. Love you, Tyler. Love you, Angie. Bye. Wow. Bye. That's, that's rare that there's an opportunity for that. Wow. I'm right here, just so. Okay. That one got a really big hit. Just like this one? Oh. Yes, like red. So We're going to sit in here with Amanda. We're here in the master bedroom. She was just getting massive hits on the K2 meter. You can see it there on the floor. So we're going to go silent. Uh, Amanda, keep doing what you were doing. I was just sitting here, to be honest, letting them just come to me. Mm-hmm.
I was talking to them about my tattoos because they're probably curious. Yeah. I'm really trying to get them to touch the, the cat toy up there. We're in the master bedroom. I'm in here with Amanda. What do you think about Amanda's fingernails? Well, they look glowing right now, don't they? <laughs> Isn't that crazy? I'm all sorts of interesting. So right in here it should stop. We love the SLS, Murray. So just to recap, Calvin, who used to live here when, when he was a child, um, we've had activity and responses to him on the SLS. That's cool. We have had cat toy interactions. You did? Mm-hmm. Awesome. Um, EDI meter. Uh, cat toy was in the kids' room. Nice. Um, Amanda has gotten K2 responses while she's been sitting in here. Um, but again, Calvin, if you're, if you're still listening, such an honor to have you join us and uh, ask the questions, especially with, with the live feed going. Um, thank you, sir, is all I can say. You honored us with with your willingness to do that. Thank you so much. I didn't hear how long did he live here? Do what? How long was Calvin here? How, do y'all know? He was here from 1964 to 1972. Oh, so wow. Eight years. oh wow. Lived here for eight years. That's really cool. Mm -hmm. And the kids are you going to go back in there? Oh, sounds like we're getting a hit in here somewhere. Was that the rim pod? It was my uh, millimeter. Millimeter. I've not moved from where it happened. Do we have any kids in here? Gets that close. Okay, let's let's test it. Okay, keep going. Keep watch the stairs behind you. Here it is again. Okay, that's not the camera. Thank you. Got the millimeter going off. And you can see that EMF rising. And uh, thank you. Thank you so much. All right, kids, you want to play? I'm ready to play. It's kind of quiet. I'm going to throw this toy on the bed. All right. If you want to jump on the bed, go right ahead. That should okay? have already went off. Yeah, it should have. It should have stopped. You want to, if you want to jump on the bed, that toy will go off. You can roll the ball around. Or go in there and play with Amanda's hair.
Sorry, that was a quick flip of the camera, guys. Didn't mean to make you dizzy. Told you to see the mum meter going off. Try to get in between where I can catch up easily in both rooms. Let's have the mum meter. Can you see? I have a K2 meter that's mobile. Walking around back here. She'll let us know if she gets any hits. She's been doing sweeps. Oh, K2 meter hits right here. See Amanda sitting there, Kelly back there. <phone rings> Nothing on the SLS? Marie, I'm going to ask a question. Set one more time. There's like a real big looking thing on the camera in the red room. She said. We are. She said it was. Where's the camera at? K2. Camera is in the back where you are next to the couch. It's on a little table. Okay. Yeah, that, no. Well, at least we have it on video. I'm getting on the K2, are they? Nothing on the K2? Mm-mm. About where was it at on the DVR? There's just one in the kids' room. I heard something. I heard hey, now, there's nobody in the kids' room, and I am standing in the doorway. I heard, like, a little kid's voice right before she said that. Like, I heard that. Uh, okay. Can can you see me at all? Okay. Let's go I'm back to the room. Okay. 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 Give me just a minute, Ryan. Well, okay. It wasn't me. Now we're not big orb people, but when they're red and they're showing up, trying to just. Catch one by luck. Um, playing tag again. Here we go. We Here heard, we go. We heard like kid voice yeah, or something. Just, like some something. Or something in there. Yeah, right before she said she saw something in there. Which well, was I was standing cool. perfectly still outside the room. So. It was like a child voice. Like, I don't know. It was, she said she heard like singing. Yeah, I, it could have been like, because it was like, like a, it wasn't like a distinct word that I heard. You know what I mean? So. Mm -hmm. Are you wanting to sing some songs? Let me ask you this. Did you did you ever play with the coal? Did you get it all over your hands and face and did it get on your clothes? wondering because it did that when I was out of the room. Maybe I need to leave and see if they're wanting to, to spend time with you guys. Okay, so the males are backing out, leaving the females in there. I have a piece of coal outside if you want to play with it. Get all dirty, have fun. You got to let me know, but you got to do something. Do something for me to show me that you hear me. Are you trying to get 
just had a voice back here. Yeah, Liz, kids played in the cold all the time. What about the soldiers? Here. But do you protect the children? Is that why you stay? I was just fixing to say that, Vicky. Kids used to use the uh, coal lumps like sidewalk chalk. Did you draw pictures with lumps of coal? Oh, okay, I've got a question for you, but we won't tell anybody, okay? Did you ever used to draw on the house outside? You can tell me. I'm not going to tell on you. Or did you write on the walls inside ever? Is there somebody in the master bedroom? Uh, two people seated. Do they, are they trying anything? Or? No. no. Okay, look. Keep watching. Do you see anything now? Uh-uh. Okay. Then it wasn't me. What were you seeing? It, I mean, a ball of light or orb or whatever. It was uh, up by the headboard, up kind of near the top that of the piece been, for the bed. That wouldn't have been either one of them. Yeah, that wouldn't have been either one of them. Oh, awesome. Just to show you guys what she's talking about. I'm going to leave you guys up here keep asking yeah, questions. Right, All right, so tell... The girls and Jason, if you used to write and draw pictures with the cold, I promise you're not going to get in trouble. We'll keep it our secret, okay? So keep talking with them. I'm going to go show our friends how she can see you up here. So I'll point the light down just so I can see the steps. I'm going to show you guys our... DVR system, IR cam, so you where the cameras are. So, do you mind pointing out where you were seeing these things? Um, so the ones in the red room, <laughs> there were so many, but there were several over in this this area. Mm -hmm. More so than the other places, I kept thinking I seen something right there, but I don't know if that was like somebody standing outside and just catching their shadow. Right. So I won't say about that one for sure, but this definitely was something over here. And the kids' room, where I was seeing them, was in and around this area right here in front of the bed. I don't know. Okay. I don't know if it came from, I don't remember if it came from there or where it came from, but it was right in that area. What's interesting here, guys, is again, um, <laughs> awesome, David. Um, orbs, to me, have to be very distinct to be a true energy orb. That was just... There. Most orbs that are reported, I'm, I'm sorry to say, in, in our opinion, is dust, mold, mildew, pollen. A good way is to freeze your video, freeze your pictures, blow it up and look at it. If you can, can you see, see that? yep. If you can see a nucleus, maybe even the hair-like villi that are around the outside of it, you can sometimes even see the mitochondria, which makes up you know, dust particles and things like that. Basically, if you can see through it, it's not an orb. That is weird, Murray. Well, we know energy transference does happen. Um, but what Nikki was seeing on our cameras was single. It seemed to move with purpose. Like it was intentional wherever it was going. At least to me, it looked like it. Mm -hmm. 
dust usually flutters like snow falling. Um, bugs are easy to rule out. So we can't wait to review. But I just wanted to give you guys a heads up of, of what she's looking at. Gives us a chance to monitor. You can see we have one, two, three, four, five cameras going. I haven't seen anything except for in the red room, the kids' room, and then the master bedroom. Okay. Now, when they walk by and the shadows outside, it'll look like the curtains are moving. I was watching it thinking that was the case, but I don't know. Okay. I think it's just them. Okay. So there goes, looks like Marty into the red room. Good to see you, sweetie. Be careful, okay? Thank you for, for coming. Saying goodbye to Marty's daughter. She was walking around taking baseline um, K2 readings for us. So I'm turning around. Oh, we have Marty coming down the stairs. You headed outside, Marty? Why don't we do this, Marty? Why don't we run the fog machine with the laser and see if anything... Is that cool? Yeah, can we go look it up? Okay, so what we're going to do, guys, is we're going to try a new experiment here. Um, let me turn this around. Um, simply because we've never done this before. All right, um, we're going to run a... Uh, you'll hear the traffic. Again, it's only uh, 10 o'clock here Central Time, 11 o'clock Eastern Time. So what we've done is we've hooked up a fog machine. And uh, what this is going to do, because literally this whole area, as I'm spinning, again, Moat's house here, there were bodies everywhere. And so we've got this fog machine going. Let me turn it around here. You'll, you'll see it behind me. Uh, to help us see any shadow figures. Entities walking around. You see them coming out. So I'm just going to stand behind. And you can see the shadows of the team walking through. Yeah, Marie, it's, this place is absolutely awesome so Marty's Marty's moving it watch the K2 on the ground yeah that'll work okay so it should go off again here in just a moment here we go so uh Again, this would also mimic what the battlefield looked like. Uh, I'll, I'll check on that, Vicky. That's a good question. Oh, yeah. Liz, there's been entities, full-body apparitions seen outside as well as in. So that change of light is the actual the red light right there. Yeah, move, yeah, move it, move it back further over here. So we're gonna try this again. Again, you can see the team over there by the tent. We've all come outside. So we're going to, uh, we're just going to see. So you can see the fog machine going off. And I'm going to step back just a little bit. Now again, the team has been instructed to stand still. So if you see any body, moving 
um, please let us know. Take note of it. I mean, this is literally what the battlefield would have looked like. That's exactly what I was thinking, Vicky. I mean, whew, it's kind of taking my breath away, to be honest with you. see two authentic cannons from the Civil War so it should shoot off another we'll try this one more time can we put them by the cannons yeah let's do it okay. so we're gonna put them by the cannons and see I mean there's been apparitions seen and reported all yeah. over the place here in Franklin, here inside and outside yeah, around the loads house. So Marty's setting up, we're gonna set it up by the cannons just to kind of reenact, mimic all the smoke. Because if you've ever been to a reenactment, <laughs> man, the cannons would leave a lot of residual smoke after they fired. So as he's getting the fog machine going again, I want to give you a look at the beautiful Lotes house. Yes, definitely, Liz. A lot of these trees were here um, then. Oh, that is really weird, Murray. Holy shnikes. Um, Nikki, some of the trees that are here, yeah. were, were they around during the Battle of Franklin? Uh, some were, some were not. This magnolia tree right here, we're guessing it dates about 1870s, 1880s, so it's not a witness tree. This black walnut right here dates to about 1920s. Okay. 20. So they were here, but not at the time of the battle. Gotcha. Thank you. No, thank you so much. So Marty's popping off a cap gun. Again, we're just mimicking some of the sounds and sights that would have been experienced in the battle. So I'm going to get over here a little bit closer to Marty. <laughs> Please do, Marie. So there's no one walking through there. So let us know if you see anything. Playing battle sounds. I see Marty walking through there.
saw that, Vicky. Right here. It's probably very close to what it looked like in the battle. Especially once the cannonball hit the Lotes house. There's no statues behind the cannons. Oh. Someone was asking if there was a statue behind the cannon. No, no, there's no statue behind the cannon. So as the smoke's going off again, I'm gonna focus on the Lotes house. Tell me if you see anything. Anyone looking out the windows, picking through? Liz. We'll definitely review to see. Downstairs left window, got it. Everyone is outside of the house. We have no one in the Lotes house now. Do one more around the smoke. Shooting off a cap gun. I 
said this must have been very similar to what it felt like during the battle. The historian for the Lotes house was saying that the smoke was so thick from musket fire and cannon fire that you couldn't hardly see in front of you. Yeah, we're definitely going to find out back there for sure. Wow. That was... That was amazing. Yeah, I was, I was walking up to that window. Tell you what, let's quietly just walk in and listen to the house. Oh, thank you, Liz. Guys, we're alone in the Lotes house, just you and I. And I'm just gonna go silent and pan. Let's see what happens. But I can tell you right now, I'm getting the chills like crazy. Upstairs and see. Oh, get us a shoot us a message, Marie. We'd love to hear about it. I have to go back and review. Yeah, David, I did. And I could have sworn that I just saw a faint shadow figure hiding behind the chair. scan here in the master bedroom Upstairs. I'm getting the chills. Let's just stand here and see what happens.
Okay, the, the fighting has stopped. You can come out now. Come on out, I'll protect you. It's all over. Two steps behind me. I don't know if y'all could hear that, but there was definitely foot footsteps. And I was just hearing them again. chills big time there it was again Somebody coming in. All right. Who is that that just came in? Me. Okay. Is that AJ? Yes, sir. Come on up. Hey, hold on. I got to pick up. Gotcha. Please. All right, guys. Well, it is about that time. Okay. Um, wow. Interesting investigation. Um, we've still got three or four hours to go. Um, just want to give Kelly, Nikki, Thomas a huge shout out for allowing us uh, to come back and visit. It's one of our favorite places, some of our favorite people. Um, yeah, I know, uh, AJ, he scared the crap. I'll let him know, Marie. Um, and Calvin, if you're still watching again. Thank you so much for participating in tonight's investigation. Um, can't say we're honored enough. Much, much respect to you, sir, and thank you. Um, so, from the Lopes house, follow tally is 33. That's crazy, Marie. That makes no sense. So, we're going to take a quick break, refuel, um, eat a snack real quick. And then come back in. We'll keep posting um, if things if uh, things keep happening. Uh, Marie, thank you, and thank you guys um, for your participation. <laughs> yeah, I know we, we hate to end the live, but we're also here to do a job, um, and so uh, we want to try to document as much evidence as we can for the loats. Um, We'll go back and review everything, you know, from the battle reenactment, uh, looking at the video, um, listening to the sounds, as well as everything else. So, guys, thank you so much. Um, again, please come visit. Please come visit the Lotes House in Franklin, Tennessee. If you're in the Tennessee area, it's not a bad drive for, for anywhere from the state of Tennessee. Their staff is top-notch. Um... Learn a lot about the history, about the paranormal experiences. And our next live will be one of our favorites, too. Uh, everybody knows about this place. We'll be coming to you live on October 1st from South Pittsburgh Hospital. It's going to be our quote-unquote Halloween investigation because we have a couple of houses that um, people who are asking for help, we never do live from, from home. It's very rare um, because that's private. So, uh, oh, I definitely, I definitely will, Vicky, for sure. As a matter of fact, let me try to find that out now, um, before we get off live. Hang on just a second, Vicky, and we'll get that question answered for you right now before we, before we end the live session. Oh, wait, there's Thomas. Um, how, how far away 
is the Carter House. Right across the street. Okay, right across the street. There you go. Right across the street, and I believe to our left. Is that right, Thomas? Yes, right across the street to your left. It's a little white. Okay. Yep. Thank you, sir. So, literally, it is right over there. Behind that white fence there. So, there you go. Guys, once again, from here, outside the Thomas house, or the Lotes house, the Thomas house. <laughs> We're going to rename it the Thomas house. <laughs> I like that idea. Uh, you see? Why not? You see? Um, come by, give Thomas and the others a visit. Thomas, the historian here for the Lotes, Lotes property, Battle of Franklin. You'll find out information, uh, just a wealth of knowledge. Um, the tour guides, Nikki, Kelly, tell you about the paranormal and the historical as well. Come visit. You can see how beautiful this place is behind me. Uh, that's all I can say. So until October 1st from South Pittsburgh Hospital, treat everyone with kindness, stay safe. PRGI will be back very soon. Have a great evening, everybody.